Sure, it was fun reading comic books in the 80s, but you know what was also fun? Looking at those crazy ads inside the comic books. Let's take a look at 26 of them. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back to get you with the second video of the day. Two videos a day at noon and at 8 Eastern Time. What about the short one at 5? Well, that one's gone away, but we have a lot of short videos and best of clips over at the Jumpman Plus channel. Check that out. If you hadn't subscribed, you're missing a lot of videos per day. It's a lot of fun over there to do some wacky, wacky stuff like this one right here. Fake Transformers? Yep. What about dinosaurs holding a microphone? Yep, they got that too. What about a big old horse with a wreath around it? Yep, they got that. How about a TV remote with some big ass buttons on it? Yep, they got it. What about Vienna Sausage? Nah, I can't find that here. You don't want to miss that. So let's look at some comic book ads found inside of comic books in the 80s. Now most of these are the 80s. There might be some in the 70s and you might even get on your keyboard and say, Junk Man, that one's from 1968 issue 2 of Howard the Duck. Or you might say, Junk Man, Howard the Duck was released in 1968. So let's get past all that, okay? Let's just check out some cool comic book ads. Let's go. Hulk Hogan, look at this thing, kids just want to have fun. In the 80s, there was girls just want to have fun, but that wasn't all true because kids wanted to have fun too, and you could have, look at this, you could even watch the Berestein Bears. This was found, I remember seeing this one in a lot of comic books back in the day. You had the Wizzles, Wizzles, or whatever they're called. You had the Young Astronaut, I don't even remember that one. And you have, oh, what's that, the Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies Mysteries. Is that a spinoff of the Muppet Babies? Ugh, I don't know why they want to turn stuff into babies and stuff. Ugh, I want to get in there. There's the all-new Hulk Hogan rockin' wrestling. I wasn't big on wrestling. I know I'm from the South. It sounds like I should have loved to watch wrestling. But I did like Mass... What was his name? Mass number two? Something back in the early 80s my brother used to watch right before wrestling was really popular. Oh, man. Something like the Mysterious Mass... You knew guys what I'm talking about. Somebody in the comments is going to let me know. Um... But I did at times watch the Rock and Wrestling Wrestling Show. Uh, I had to keep. I knew there was Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan. Rain, was Randy Savage on it? I don't remember if Randy Savage was on it or not. But I hope he was. Let's see what's next here. Oh, an ad for Superman Three, a free flipper flyer. I don't know about you, but when Superman Three came out, I said I want to see the movie. But more than that, I want a flipper flower. No, honestly, I never even heard of a flipper flower until right now. But it is like a flying saucer. But and it's the next generation's flying saucer. It says fly it, flip it, fold it. Fits in your pocket. Hey, I like that. I like anything you can put in your pocket. That way, if someone's watching you play pocket pool, you can say, no, I'm playing with my flower flipper. And it could be true, even if you were playing pocket pool. Uh, it looks like you had to buy some dial soap, some tone soap, or some liquid four. Never even heard of that one right there to get it. Let's see. You get in the mail with 20 proofs of purchases. 20. Good Lord. You know how long it takes to go through a bar of soap? Like six months. <laughs> no one's going to be able to get that. Uh, remember Star Comics? I, I, here they are. They had a lot of the other comic books. Remember Star Comics? Well, here you go. Star Comics here. That right there, that guy right there with that big red hair looks like flames. No, he's not a flamer. That is one of the Thundercats, and he's holding a sword. You got Peter Pan back there flying a carpet, I think. You got a dog with a net. I don't know who that is. You got Heathcliff, the want the Garfield wannabe, I guess. Or maybe Garfield's the glyph. Cliff, both of them kind of suck, let's be honest. You got the Care Bears. I don't know who would want to wear a comic. Who would want to read the Care Bears comic book? That's not like the most boring comic book ever. And you have Spider Pig. I don't even know Spider Pig. I saw that movie with a minute. And of course you have He-Man with his magic sword right there. And it says, reach for the stars. And you could with Star Comics. Let's check out another one. This is a game ad. A lot of game ad appears in comic books. And this is for a Kool-Aid man. I played a lot of dumb video games in my life. I've seen a lot of dumb video games at the store, but this has to be the worst game. I don't know who at the store would have saw a Kool-Aid Man video game and just had to beg for it. Unless it was like $2 and all the other games were like $20, I could understand. But who would want this? Uh, Kool-Aid had his own video game. Get out of here. That's just too crazy. And what about this one? Whew, we all had them. Brian Shrimp. I mean, 
sea monkeys. We all had sea monkeys, and they looked nothing like these naked, naked bastards that we all couldn't wait to get. We were like, I can't wait to get this guy. Castle, got a mom and dad, and then you get them in there, but you can't, like little pieces of dust floating in them. What a ripoff, man. Anytime there's a live animal inside of an egg and they ship it in the middle, you know you're going to get ripped off. But uh, at least down here at the very bottom, it looks like they kind of show you what they're going to look like. And they're not going to look like these naked freaks. But I do like that the artist put this little thin thing in front of that guy's genitalia. So, uh, you know, we wouldn't be offended. What about this one right here? Prizes or cash? Man, this was... This was probably in almost every comic book at least one time. This is where you, I don't know, you had to sell something, seeds. I don't know what you had to sell on this one. I don't think it was a seed company. But you get a reward, you get to pick out some of these prizes. Maybe if I read, I can find out. Sell cards and gifts from your free sales booklet. Okay, I guess you had to try to sell this stuff in here. Olympic Sales Club. I wonder if they're still in business. Look at that. Telescope, a wristwatch. Uh, I see two wrist rocks that looks like both a one's a Casio. I can see it's kind of blurry. It's hard for me to read. Got that long camera. You have those cameras that are gonna push in right there. Got a monkey kind of hugging. Got a race racetrack right there. Looks really good. Got a little baby doll on a swing. I'm not really sure what that's all about. And there's a tent. If you want to pitch a tent, you could with this right here. A lamp, a sleeping bag, basketball, all kinds of stuff. Anything you could want as a kid is on this page, unless it was Star Wars related. They had no official Star Wars toys. And what about this? This is what well, this was probably. I, I, mean, I don't think I picked up a comic book in the 70s and 80s, and this page wasn't in there or one like it. This is where you had a bunch of different ads. And let's see, we got Marvel Supermarket. Hey, I would like to go shop there. Uh, California, Florida, Ohio, Maryland, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Texas, and even Virginia. Uh, none near me, but still, that's a pretty cool store to go to. You also have this, you could order Monster Blood. Monster, I missed that up. Let me try that again, take two. You could order Monster Blood and get free monster, monster fangs. Remember those little plastic things you put in your mouth at Halloween time? Maybe you like a Dracula or something. Ugh. It's about two minutes you're ready to take them out. Monster Blood, part of that came in the tube. Remember that? Uh, comics, we got them. Lone Star Comics in Texas, he has the comics you need. We got Marvel and DC's best prices right there. You can get some good deals right there. You got, oh, look at the bodybuilder in seven days. I need to get that right now. How about this? Own your own song. You write a song, send it to them, and they'll publish it, and you'll own the rights to it. But unless they like the song, then they're going to sell it to some country music star probably and have a big hit off of it. It's probably the name would be Arthur. Uh, Golden State Comics, we've got... Uh, Wanted video game players for arcade action. That sounds great right there. A new game and puzzle magazine for you. That sounds really great. We got comic books. We got comic books at low, low prices and back issues. And we even have Learn to Play the Rock Guitar. I like that. Love to play that. Let's see what else we have. Uh, we got another game ad here. It's Cala, Calabunga Time. Calabunga Time. I don't know what that means right there. Marvel Superheroes the video game. I don't remember this game right here. Doesn't say what system it's for, does it? Oh, it's a Marvel Hero Super Game role playing game, and it will knock you out. Now you can bash heads with the best of them. Swing through the city with Spider Man. Save the citizens with Captain America. Knock down entire buildings with the thing. Piece of cake. Hmm. The authentic, the authentic Marvel Super Heroes role playing game comes with everything you need to join the ranks of Marvel Super Hero characters. Battle book, companion book. I guess this is like a Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, it says right there. It says right there. From the producers of the famous Dungeons and Dragons role-playing game. How about that? That sounds like a lot of fun if you had friends to play along. I wouldn't want anybody to play along with me. How about a life-size monster right here? Monster size monster. Seven foot tall. Seven foot tall. That's awesome right there. Um, it, whew, glow in the dark eyes. I like anything that glowed in, was glow, is it glued in the dark. If it's past tense. I like anything that would glow in the dark. Uh, only one dollar, ten day free trial. Oh, what? So you can order this monster for seven? What? Ten, so ten days you can have it, and they'll come and get it if you don't want it after that. I don't know. Maybe I need to read more, but it's a little small writing. It's hard to read. So let's look at something else gruesome here. Monster Ghost. I think this is a little more older ad, probably sixties. Obey your commands. Over seven feet tall. Only one dollar. How's it obey your commands? It also glows in the eyes. This thriller acts as through alive. Make him obey your commands, even when you are secretly hiding as far as 100 feet away. Make him dance to music. That sounds awesome right there. Got a skeleton in a sleeping bag down there, too. 
Let's get back to some Marvel ads. How about this? Marvel and cookies. What combination is that? Cookie crisp, great combination right there. Hey kids, look what's coming your way. You get comic books with cereal. Free Marvel iron on patches inside. Sorry, not comic books. That's awesome. I would never put an iron. I don't think I ever put a, a, a patch on anything, but still, it's pretty awesome. Here's one on the back of a lot of the Marvel Star Wars comics right here. I thought it was Superman for a long time, and it was kind of blurry there. Let me set it down. Maybe you can see it a little bit. Is that a little better there? Not the best picture in the world. I thought that was Superman hanging out with somebody. I mean, I thought that was Han Solo, but it's not right there. I remember at the back of the magazine, it's like, what's Han Solo doing playing basketball? Uh, if you want to look cool, you can. Look at this guy. This looks like the original Stretch Armstrong. Doesn't this guy look like Stretch Armstrong? I mean, look at this guy right here. Mm, that is a walking beef jerky if I've ever seen one right there. I think that's more 60s. But let's look at Secret Wars. That's the Wars of Secrets. How about this? Marvel superheroes. New. Never before. It's got Doctor Doom on it. Doctor Doom. Hey, can we stop them, Captain America? Spider-Man wants to know. That's our secret, Spider-Man. Why is that a secret? If you're going to stop him or not, I don't understand. It's time to save the world. It gets from Mattel. Oh, that's the Secret War figures, and you get the little uh, shield or something with it. That's pretty cool. Here's something I never heard of right here. The one million dollar Christmas rebate spectacular at Gart Gart I don't know what that is here. Ask Dad to help you choose. Oh, it's a fishing line. It's a fishing pole. Don't I hope nobody asks this dad what fishing pole. I don't know. I don't know. Get a cane pole. That's all I know. Get a cane pole. It's the only kind of fishing pole I know. What about a movie ad in a comic book? Yep, they had those two, and they had one co-starring Molly Ringwall. That's got to be one of the ugliest names ever, Molly Ringwall. But here it is right here. Are you men enough for Mega Force? Remember that? Knees. Let's go. See, that's blurry, too. Can y'all see? I hate to size it down that small, but Mega Force. What a horrible, horrible movie. Let's get out of here. That's a horrible movie. Look at this. Droids from Star Comics here. Oh, dear R2. What have you done to us now? And this guy's a little rabbit guy. <laughs> R2 saying, bloop, 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 bloop. The Adventures of CW and R2-D2 from Star Wars and their hit Saturday TV show now in their very own Stars comic. I don't think it was a hit television show. I don't think it was a hit television show at all. Speaking of Star Wars, check this ad out here. Whew, that's awesome. I love seeing these old Star Wars ads. Let's see here. We've got the action figures at the top. Doesn't really look like them, but we got them. We've got a radio control R2-D2 right there. Uh, we got the X-Wing, TIE Fighter, Land Spear. Look at those cheap prices. We've got Star Wars posters. Who wouldn't want a Star Wars poster? Star Wars necklace. They say a pendant. I cut on my necklace. I had, uh, I think I had Chewbacca or maybe 3PO or maybe both. Look at Chewbacca and the plush doll right there. Chewbacca is like one of them 976 numbers, man. And even r 2 spreading some legs. Wookiees Need Love 2. I need that on a shirt. Wookiees Need Love 2. And a 1979 Star Wars calendar. And also in these comic books, they would do ads for the upcoming comic, uh, upcoming cartoon shows. And look at this, CBS Saturday. Let's see what well, we got. The Bugs Bunny on the road one hour, an hour of Bugs Bunny getting on your nerves. We've got Scooby Doo. Where are you? Who cares where he is? Hopefully he'll stay lost. We got Sazam cartoon uh, and ISIS. Who? Oh, I just got demonetized for that one right there. We got Far Out Space Nuts. This is far out space nuts, but that looks like Gilligan from Gilligan's Planet. But maybe it's not. You got the original Ghostbusters, the cartoon, right? You got the Harlem Grub Throtters. Speaking of Gilligan's Island, remember when they went to live with the Gilligan Island cast? You got Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. Uh oh, don't take nothing to drink from Bill Cosby. And you got CBS Children Film Festival. It looks like Joan Rivers, but I'm not really sure. Thrills and giggles, thrills and chills and giggles and laughs. All on CBS. Let's check out this old one. I don't know what this is. Free Busy Pen from Shell. Shell Gas Station even had an ad to get this free pen. I can see it here and write it, but it looks like just a regular old pen that you could color with. What about Masters Universe? We can't do this without looking at Masters Universe. So here's an ad for their video game. I never played this game. Why did not I play this game? I don't know. It looks like something I would have loved to have played. Castle Gary Skull looks like in good detail. The Power of He-Man, foreign television, and Atari 2600. I'm guessing this is probably around 83, 84. People were kind of getting out of video games for a while, at least for the Atari. Uh, let's see here. It's the first Master Universe video game, but it could be. 
the last for He-Man. Because even if he survives 30 trenches miles in his wind rider, he still has the battle Skeletor. Oh man, in the mysterious Castle Grayskull. Man, that's how, that looks like fun right there. Skeleton looks pretty pewed. And we've got another. This is like, I got a poster over here. I don't know if you can probably see it. I don't know if you can see it sometime. It's the Empire poster, but it looks kind of like this one. This would be kind of cool to have too. You get the figures right there. $2.99 for some Star Wars figures. Who you can buy all four or just four of them for ten ninety nine plus a dollar fifty shipping. Look at that! You can get a lance. You can get the uh, tie fighter. We're talking the tie fighter. You put the figure in for six dollars and ninety five cent. Hey, when you come out with retro figures, why don't you come out with retro prizes? That's a note to you, Hasbro. And then we got Mister Miracle. I don't remember. It looks like Doctor Doom and Iron Man to me. The world's greatest escape artist is back. I thought that was Houdini, but I could be wrong. Uh, here's another ad for Saturday Morning Cartoons. This one's Super Saturday on ABC. You have the new adventures of Casper and Friendly Ghosts. Always odd that they had a TV show about a little boy that got killed and turned into a ghost. This thing's gruesome. You got Smokey, Smokey Bear Show. I didn't even remember if Smokey Bear had his own show. And you got the Chattanooga. I don't know who that is. Looks like some hippie stuff right there. And what about some gum? Now, I'm not really sure what this is. Punching juice. I don't remember this. I know my uncle used to have some candy at his house called jerking juice, but I never did get it. He was like, hey, junk man, want to come over and uh, get some junkin' juice? I was like, no, no, that's okay. Yeah, oh, very weird guy. He didn't like to eat his hard candy. He had a lot of hard candy. He'd always tell you, hey, reach in my pocket. I got some hard candy for you. It's like, no, that's okay. Anyway, get the big juicy taste in your favorite flavors. Let's see. You got soft bubble gum. Let's see here. Let's see the flavors. Very cherry. Got to have cherry. Grape, my favorite. Got to get grape. I would have got grape right there. Orange and uh, regular. I don't know what regular would be. And well, let's look at one more. Bonkers. It'll bonk you out. Remember those commercials? The food will fall down, hit the teacher and stuff on the head. There's the teacher right there. Look out when new bonker fruit candy hits towns. Why don't they, they don't make bonkers anymore? Do they? Give me bonkers. We want bonkers. Let's start a start a campaign to bring back a bonkers. Look at this little kid down here with his green hat on. He looks pretty cool. All three favors bonks him out. Bonkers. Whew, that little kid about there going crazy. Then look at the bully who happens to bonkers. And that teacher looks like a pure asshole. Um, I think that's it, guys. That is it. See the poster I was talking about? You can see it now, can't you? Anyway, you've seen it before. Anyway, that's a look at 26. Yeah, can you believe it? 26 ads found in comic books. And well, sometimes reading the comic books is fun, but sometimes just looking at those ads can be just as fun. Well, let me know some ads you remember as a kid, or some of these. Did you send off for any of this stuff? Maybe you got those X-ray glasses, or maybe you got that workout so you can look like Leather Man. Let me know some of the stuff here. Just don't let me know about your sea monkeys. I don't want to hear about your sea monkeys and how they died after three days. Well, as always, I'm going to see my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, jump <laughs> man channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.